This video is just one part of a complete set of videos called Making Effective Selections. As you can see by the subheading here, we're going to be looking at color range. With this tool we can make a selection based solely on color. So if we want to select just one color from within an image, perhaps this is the way to go. Let's take a look. We'll find the color range in our select menu at the top of the screen. This is the option we need. The little panel in the middle there, we can look at a selection or we can look at the image. Generally speaking, I don't think I've ever moved it away from selection. We can just about see the edge of the pot on the left. I'm going to select the plus eyedropper on the right hand side and let me click into the blue up at the top left. You can see it selected quite a bit of the background, but not all. I can see what I need to click on. Let's move this over to the right a little bit. I've got a section down around here and the shadow seems to need another click. There's a bit of a ghosting up above here, so I'll click up there. I can see to the left of the larger pot and down the bottom. You can see with a few clicks I've managed to select the background. Now I can increase the fuzziness. This increases the range of what is selected, so we need to move this as far to the right as we can, but what we don't want to do is to see anything else come up apart from the background color blue here. So looking at this around the default of 40, it doesn't seem to be too bad. As soon as I go slightly above that, I start to see the base of the pot. So I'm going to drop it down a little bit. So what I can do from here is just say OK. There I have the selection of just the background. And of course from here we've got all the normal options that we would have via select and mask. Coming back into the color range at the top of this window we do have a select option which allows us to select a particular color from the image or just the highlights, midtones and shadows. I've done a number of trials using various photographs but never found anything that's been really successful. The most successful I get is when I have an image like this and I could pick up the plus eyedropper and I could click around as I've demonstrated earlier then adjust the fuzziness and we can make a pretty good selection there. But of course in this situation we could possibly do that with other tools as well. So once we do have the selection made from color range then we can go to select and mask and do the remainder of the work. Here I'm looking at the pots against black so I can see any fringing around the edge. Using the shortcut keys of control and spacebar here to zoom in so I can take a really good look. The edge is rather sharp so perhaps we could give this a pixel or two of feather. Maybe we could smooth it just a little bit as well. Just looking at areas down here and maybe just shift that edge a little bit just to take away the hint of the blue there. Took a little while to do that, let's move it a little further. There I think we'd have a pretty good result which we could export out to either a selection or a layer mask. Control zero, there we have our pots floating on a transparent background. 